Hey everyone and welcome back to another weekly video. Now this week we're going to take a look at a verbal reasoning question that we like to call word grids. Let's take a look. In this question type, you are given a three by two grid. And in five of those spaces, there are words that are somehow linked. It's our job to try and figure out what word can go into the gap, which is denoted by a question mark. We have five to choose from as normal, A, B, C, D, or E. Now to find those links, we have two ways to do so. The first way is we can try and read the words across in a row and to see if there's a link between those words. So let's take a look at that first. We have four, made and pair. And I'm trying to think now outside of the box, is there anything that links these words? Are there meanings that are the same? Do they go together to make something? And I can't think of any links at all. So I failed to find a link using the row method. I'm going to now go to the column method. So let's go down in columns. We have four and the missing word. We have made and made. Now straight away, my brain's clicked and I know they're homophones, so I'm gonna keep that in my mind, homophones. And we're gonna to go to the last column and we have pair and pair. These are homophones going down in rows. So now we can go back to our first column, which is four, and we're going to look at the options below to see if we can find a homophone, a word which sounds the same as F-O-R, four. Let's take a look. Frown, no. Number, no. Law, well, it does rhyme, but we're looking for homophones exactly, so it can't be law. Four, the number, yes, I'm going to circle it. If it was the test, I'd probably move on. But let's just make sure that E isn't an answer. Apple, obviously, doesn't sound anything like four. So the answer here is D, and the reason is that the link is in columns, we have homophones. Right, diving into another question. Let's take a look, and this time, I'm gonna go straight into my columns to try and find a link. So we have here country. Is it linked to Iceland somehow? Well, Iceland is a type of country and it's a really good technique to try and build a sentence that works like that because if it is a link for the whole grid, you should be able to use that sentence interchangeably across the different columns. So let's take a look at the other full column, which is the last one, fruit and lemon. So can we say that lemon is a type of fruit? Yes. We can say that Iceland is a type of country. Yes. So we're going to start with the bottom word and the link is that it fits into the category above. So let's take a look in the middle and now we've got the link, try and find the answer. We're given beige at the bottom. So using our sentence stem, we can say that beige is a type of blank. And we're going to go for our answers to see which one fits best. Beige is a type of bus. Absolute nonsense, doesn't work. Beige is a type of color. Of course it is. Beige is a color that we can use to describe something. Again, in the real test, would I carry on? Probably not, because I'm 100% confident, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go through and take a look. Is beige a type of number? No, one, two, three, beige, five, no, doesn't work. Is beige a type of shape? No. Is beige a type of vegetable? Well, you might get beige vegetables, but it's certainly not a type of vegetable. Doesn't fit the category, the answer is B. Okay, let's dive straight into another question. And now I'm getting the hang of this. I've actually noticed that there's definitely a link across the top row. We have sound, sight, and taste. Now I'm going to argue that these are all to do with your senses. So potentially across a row, the link could be that they have to be part of the same category. We have senses across the top. And then looking at the second row, we have blank, eyes, and tongue. Now to me, that says, parts of your body. So let's take a look and see if we can find an answer that is part of your body. Legs, cool, that works, nice one. I think legs could be the answer, but we're just gonna make sure. Uh, arms, that's also a type, something from your body, is head and nose. Ah, we have not been specific enough. That can't be the link because all of those answers, if it was the link, could be justified. So let's go back to the top and try and be more specific. And you may have seen it already. Let's look at the middle column, sight and eyes. You use your eyes for your vision, for your sight. Taste to tongue, use your tongue to taste things. Okay, so what do you use to hear sound? Well, that's very specific. It is your ears. Let's see if it's there. I'm pretty sure it was earlier, and it is. The answer is C. Just be careful for a specific link. Okay, one more question to go through together and then I'll give you one to practice yourself. But before we do that, I just want to make a really clear point. 
you may have already noticed that to find the link in these questions, we often go down in columns. Now, that is the case most of the time. However, you need to be really careful. If you're doing this in the real test, whilst most of them will be column links, there will also be some in the row, just to throw you off. This is an example of that, so let's take a look. The top row, we've got pen, paper, and writing. Now there is a link between these. I'm wondering if you can start to work out yourself. And if you do have it, let's see if it matches up because I'm going to tell you that the link here is that the first two words, they combine together to create the last one. So you need to have a pen and paper to do some writing. So let's take a look at the bottom link here. We have, you need food on something to make a meal. Well, you use your pen on the paper what do you do with your food? Where do you put it? You put it on something to create a meal. That is the link. It's the same way for the top as the bottom row. So let's take a look at the answers. We've got bread. Well, bread is a type of food. And if you weren't aware of the skills and the tips and the tricks we've taught in this video, you might be tempted just to put bread in because bread could be part of a meal and it's a type of food. That's a link you could make but we know it has to be the same link as the other row on the top. So it can't be bread, we're gonna get rid of that. B is drink, again, you normally have a drink with a meal, but it doesn't work in our context. Book, that's not correct. That might be for someone who's stuck looking at the columns because they think, well, paper makes books, doesn't work in our link. Eat, you do eat food, and hopefully what we've seen in the first four answers here is how the Kent test is designed to trick you. Every answer could be justified by someone who doesn't know the exact technique. However, you do. So I know for a fact that everyone watching this video has gone for E plate because we can say the sentence that food goes on a plate to make a meal, which matches pen goes onto paper to make some writing. That is the answer, E. If you found this useful and you feel like you are much better equipped to answer these questions now, all we ask is that you leave us a like on this video and subscribe to our channel because there is loads of content coming your way every single week. Here's your question, have a go at home and leave us a comment down below if you think you've got the answer and we'll get back to you to tell you whether you were right or wrong. We'll see you next time.